call me be me okay y'all i'm currently sitting in front of a a, a pie pies like y'all okay so um hey y'all welcome back so y'all know if i'm on here and i'm doing this that means it's something important to me y'all know i love vlogging stuff like this so a couple months ago i got a dm from hashtag campus trenders trendsetters um to collaborate at my school alabama state university with new york city and kate spade for a big event they really didn't say much but you know i said you know why not you know as a as a um content creator and influencer in the making why not you know this could be like something big so why was i just sitting here and at 3 30 something p.m i get an email saying that i'm accepted and that the event is on april 14th which is the day before my birthday and that I, i'm a, i'm a i'm a kate spade brand ambassador now a, a freaking kate spade brand ambassador guys like i'm i'm gonna i have to vlog the journey don't mind my hair but y'all when i say i'm so excited i'm so excited and i just want to say like this is nothing but god right now so i want to say like thank god hello and we're back i know i know so welcome welcome to this vlog this is a continuation of the kate spade and basically i'm staying in the hallway because i still locked my keys in the room we love to see it. So I'm waiting on my friend slash RA Faye to come up here and open the door for me. But for the most importantly, I'm about to glam myself up. This is the outfit so far. I'm going to put on a belt because these pants are kind of baggy. Um, and this is the outfit so far for Kate Spade She Care Pods event. So you guys stay with me and hopefully you'll enjoy this you'll learn something maybe i will learn something i'm hoping that this is a very educational yep fun event stay with me guys stay with me stay with me all right the bell just rung i gotta be there at 3 45 it's three o'clock let's let the time tick on this is actually a kind of perfect setup i'm gonna go back a little bit what I'm trying to do is put this belt on to make this outfit look like I tried to do something, but I'm really, I really just can't find my, find my other belt. Oh wait, it's twisted out there. I can tighten it or loosen it however I need to. And I'm just gonna take the other. Like that, I feel like Kim Possible. Kim Possible, call me baby. Time is ticking. Phone. And I like, I found my charger too, y'all. My charger been missing for like two weeks. So with them, it was literally right under my nose. There we go. Now it's trying to fall. It was trying to fall on me. I also haven't dermaplay in my face in a while, so I'm going to just give y'all a little life up. I know I got another pencil somewhere. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna. Yep. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see me picking up doing stuff and then starting to do stuff and then I drop it. I'm just trying to get my life together really, really quick in a little tiny manner. I'm going to. Okay. I already turned on my hot comb, so. We're good in that part. Brush one, brush two, spray, foundation, eyebrows, contour. And contour is actually one second. is going to pull my hair back like this and we're going to start
<laughs> You're probably like, what the fuck? Trust the process. Trust the madness. Please trust the madness. Because I promise it'll be all worth it in the end. Blending is the key factor to everything, y'all. Y'all always want to make sure y'all blend everything out to the best the best potential and it's always hard right underneath the eye and by the corners but i said i was supposed to give y'all a life update um this semester has been really hard um only because i felt like a lot of things were against me really really i had to learn that i was only against myself um my dog passed away so rest in peace taz um, I haven't really talked about that um, ever, actually, after it happened. Because that was, like, really, like, my, that was my role dog. That was my best friend. I was hurt. I was hurt for a, a minute, too. Like, y'all, uh, I was really, I went, I really went through it after he passed. Um, but, you know, you know, everybody has stuff they got going through, they go through. And it's all about basically like your determination, your determination to get your goals done, your determination to push forward in life, your determination to see how far you want to, like you really want to go in life. Because at, well, at some point I had to learn it all falls back on me and i know if my mom probably hears that say that she's like oh she got a clue but i know for a fact like <coughs> i'm sorry i had to learn in my life like my life is my life nobody can do anything for my life but me like you literally are the control the remote control to your life and everybody else from the outside looking in are just the viewers watching the TV, watching the show. That's the best way I can put it. They are just the viewers watching the show. And when you come to that determining factor in your life that only you can be you, and only I can be me shout out to how to rock <laughs> then that's when you realize like you can really do anything you want to actually it is kind of sunny outside so this is the 335 don't look at it the top broke i was actually the top broke during the pageant i was trying to like rush and do stuff oh this is about gone bad the only thing I don't like about the Fit Me bottles is that they don't have a pump. And if anybody know what I mean, meaning like they just, it just pours out. So this bottle is empty, so I have to use other foundation. Um, but this is how the bottle comes. I love the product. I do. But there is like no pump. So I have to like either put it on my hand or take something and stick it in there like so. But if you, I feel like if you give a pump, then you can kind of control really how much foundation is going and coming out. I don't ever put a lot of foundation because it is still sunny outside. I'm just trying to get enough to cover coverage. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put my hair back somewhere. And this is what I'm spraying. So I'm gonna show you everything I've used for a second time out. Boom, I got this from Five Below. Boom, I got this in the hair store in the color, what color is this? Pure beige. I use Fit Me Pure. Um, this is the matte one. I like the dewy one a little bit better, but this is what they had. I use 330, but then if they don't have that in the backup cases, I use 335 on my face, which is like what I'm doing. I usually keep, and then I'm using this cream concealer 
for my contour, which I'll show y'all what I'll do for contouring next. And the eyebrows, it kind of varies um, on what I have, like as if it kind of varies if um, I have, basically if I have, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> It varies if I have a palette with me or eyebrow pencil. Because if it's an eyebrow pencil, then I will generally go for the eyebrow pencil. Because I feel like it's easier to apply to my eyebrows. And if y'all can tell, my nose ring is just like always in the way. Mm -hmm. Do y'all nose ring like ever itch? Like, like, cause mine's be getting turned all which way around. And I just want to know, do y'all nose ring ever itch? Because mine's be itching. And I don't like when people... I be trying to, like, fix it to maneuver it or, like, turn it back out. Because I don't like when that, that part is, like, on the inside. So, I don't like it. Because then people be looking at me. And I'm like, I'm not digging in my nose. I swear to God, I'm just fixing my nose ring. All right, so I think we're good. But y'all know I'll be looking like washed out because my hair color choices. And then I don't have any eyebrows. So um, I'm gonna start off with this pencil. If this pencil does not do me any justice because I do not know where my pencil sharpener is, I'm going to um, go in with the palette and I'll show y'all the difference and how I go in with that. But I'm going to do my eyebrows and contour at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but in the same gist. So this is a trick that I do. I go through. Sometimes I do this first. Sometimes I do this last. I go through with the color, okay? And I try to get all over every single piece of hair that's there, you know. Give it a shade, give it this warm, give it this swirl, browy look. And then I go back through and I brush it out. I brush it through. To make it look like I kind of didn't do too much. Okay. And we go back through with this on this side. Okay. And typically... On a good day, I'll try to like get the illuminating brow look or whatever it's called. So I'm going to go in my little handy bandy pouch pouch. I'm going to do this. Hopefully, I don't do too much. And then we're gonna most definitely need lash glue for when I put my lashes on. Okay. And I'm just gonna fan it out. But not too much. And I always, you always want to go ahead and brush it out before it sets. Okay. And then once everything is brushed up, you can kind of go back through with your finger and erase and move anything that you need to move, anything that you need to erase. Cause this is what my brows is giving. So lastly, I'm a contour. Let me put this stuff back on this bottle. So first off, when it comes to contouring, the very first, first contouring part, I take my real talk. I don't really talk about my brushes much because y'all may see a video where I don't use my brushes, but I'm just putting that out there. Taking this real talk brush first, spread my hydrating mist on it. Cause I just really like pigments. I like everything to be really pigmented. I don't like to have to go over things more than once. Okay. Now, and this is what I do for my cheeks and like the forehead area. For my nose specifically, um, I usually have, let me look in here. I have an actual brush that goes on my nose. I just cannot seem to find it right now. Oh, there it is. This is the brush I use. And I got this from other stuff. 
Um, I'm just gonna take that. You know, go. And I was going all the way up to my eyebrows, okay, at one point to like contour, I would come all the way up here. And I try not to do that. I try to get right there at the bridge of the nose. Like, I try to get right there at the bridge of the nose. Okay. And so this is my contour base set up. If you want to see it, I'm going to put my hair back. So it's cheekbone, cheekbone, cheekbone. And ba -da, ba -da, ba. spray it on angled brush. Rihanna said that. Um, and then I just go up. Mm hmm mm, Blend it out. Come back down just a little bit. Ooh, ooh. I'm getting emails. Okay. It's almost 15 minutes into this video. So I'm gonna come back when I'm done contouring, looking out beautiful. I love you. Give me a second. Oh, I kinda look good. This is the outfit. Um, I'm gonna try to record and vlog as much as I can. I don't know how much I can do in this because, like I said, I was supposed to be getting content and then content got me. <laughs> but um, I'm on my way there now. This is really weird to hold the phone like this. Hi, girl. I'm really late. I'm gonna catch y'all when I'm in line. Okay, guys, we're here. I done found Tasia and Amaya. How yeah. you guys feel? Feel real good. Are you excited? Got my hair now, you know. Yeah, I said, girl, you didn't have to not have that same hairstyle when I saw you. Yeah, it look good. It look good. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> guys, I'm back over here. I have a bag check out my instagram and my tiktok i'm gonna be doing a reveal so i'm not gonna reveal anything here on here so y'all make sure y'all go check out my instagram and my tiktok but i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog y'all may or may not be getting a 21st birthday vlog tomorrow we'll see how i feel but i love you guys make sure you comment you like and you subscribe and don't forget to turn my post notifications on